Hey guys, Kyle from Envision here today with another video for you all where we're going to be looking at the model view inside of Power BI Desktop. The model view allows you to view all the tables and relationships in your model as well as getting some other key information at a very quick glance. And Power BI Desktop actually had a new model view that was just released for public preview in November of 2020. So today we're going to be taking a look at three quick things in the model view, two of which are from the brand new model view and are really helpful new features. And one of them is a favorite feature of mine that's been there for a while, but might be underutilized by some of the self-taught people out there, such as myself. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to look at today is what should be glaringly obvious in the new model view, where we have multiple different colors now appearing in here. All tables are from a given database. We'll have a matching color up the top. So all these blue tables are from one database red tables are from another database. And this one table that has no bar at all over the top is because this is an import table versus solid bars being direct query tables and a slash bar like this being a table as in dual storage mode. Secondly, you'll notice that now the properties pane over on the right hand side actually contains a couple of options for us even when no individual table is selected. And if we activate all three of these, you'll see that we now have the ability to create a really clean model view that only gives us the key information that you're going to care about by collapsing down all of these individual tables. With all of these options selected and the tables collapsed, you'll see that now each one of these tables only contains the key field, which we really care about for the relationships. The database name is listed in the top of our card. And even when we go out and expand that table to see the other columns that are available, those key fields are always pinned to the very top in order to make detecting relationships extremely user-friendly and easy. So the last thing that we're going to be looking at today is the ability to create new layouts inside the model view. This is something that's been around in the model view for quite some time, but might be underutilized by some other self-taught people out there such as myself. Right now you can see in the primary model view under this all tables layout, which is our default, it can be a little bit messy sometimes. We have a lot of tables in there from different databases and the relationship lines are often crossing over each other. If we want to create something that is a little bit easier to look at to get a better at a glance view, we can create new layouts down below. For example, in order to show only the tables from a given database with their relationships, such as our AdventureWorks layout right here, and our Contoso layout right here. Creating a new layout is super, super simple. All you have to do is find this yellow plus icon down at the bottom, click on that to create a new layout, and then simply drag and drop your tables into the active area. If no relationship exists between tables, then you'll see that no relationship line is drawn. But if there is a relationship between a table already in our active layout and the new table that we're adding in, you'll see that those relationship lines are drawn automatically for us. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed as we looked at three ways you can get a little bit more out of the model view in Power BI Desktop using one feature that's been there for a long time and two features are brand new in that public preview. If you guys like this content, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any comments, questions, tips and tricks of your own, feel free to toss those into the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you all again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.